What is up, everybody? This is your host, Superside, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I wanted to do a video on YouTube Studio, this application right here. Now, I've been using it for quite a while. I think I may have got it in 2017. Not sure. I got the Social Blade sub counter in 2017. I may have got this near the end of 2017, or maybe not. But anyway, I used it a lot in 2018 and 2019, mainly to answer comments like when I was away from home. So I, when I didn't have a desktop, I'd use this often to answer comments. So anyway, I thought I'd do an overview. I don't have footage, unfortunately, of the old version. And that's why I always like to do update videos on YouTube or just even things that are current. You know, I like to cover them. And so then and when it just randomly changes or, or, you know, changes, you know, it's like, oh, wow, what was it used to be like? And so I haven't got any footage of the old one. I've got a few snapshots I took along the way, but that's all. And so anyway, and look, we got a million minutes of watch time. That's awesome. It's crazy to think we're almost, well, not quite but we're getting near half a million views every month like that's insane i mean this month has been really 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 boosted especially with my stream of the the top 20 most viewed videos on youtube that stream's got a massive boost as well as of course the tiktok ones especially with charlie hitting 50 million there's been a whole heap of boosts in that if we click view more it'll probably show us that you know so yeah all the charlie ones just absolutely rocketing it right there so I'll go through all the different things in it. I, I don't know. It could end up being a long video. Just so it looks very similar to the desktop one now. It's very, very synchronized. It used to be quite different in that, but it was still great for comments and that. And, and good for the other things as well. It was just slightly different in that. Anyway, this here is the dashboard view. So as you can see, you got a few comments down here. So the, the latest ones, right? So, and if we go up here... And then you have a pre uh, preview of your latest three videos. And if you click, you know, the view more, it will take you to the video section and whatnot. And if you click on the other ones, it will take you to the respective sections. Comments will take you to the comments one, video to the videos one. It's so, like, simple on this, like, you know, it's like, but it's it's good in the desktop one. I mean, the desktop one, because there's more options. And the more options, the better. But, you know, it, it's a very simple interface. The analytics, they see the analytics. It's very, very straightforward. There's no, like, create a news or anything on here, although I'm sure that will come in, in time. So, and then there's the latest performing video and it's ranked fifth if we click on that right so there we go it shows my latest 10 videos and you can see how it is comparing so there there is that it's pretty simplistic if you click on dashboard oh you can't tap those three things if you tap here there we go it just goes to manage my google account and i can change the settings okay so it's right so push notifications app version stuff like that also i'll just go through the versions over here so this year so i don't know which one it was because in 2018 to 2019 it was it was very it was like it, it was all, all similar to what it was then but now it's very different so these are all the updates that it's had so sometime i reckon but see these are just stability there's nothing major it highlights here the first thing that's actually any you know membership badges is still pretty similar and the the, the major one is sort of like five months ago two months ago that they actually would have so even the five months ago still looks pretty so probably it was just two months ago that the 20.04 version was the big one they did i don't know but it's certainly different to it's way different it used to be like red and all that i i will have a couple of snapshots of it in that so this here is indeed this the dashboard view as you can see okay let's move on to the video view so this here is indeed the video view as you can see and you can just scroll through all your videos, see how they're doing and all that, like so. And then if you go to, like, here, you can, you know, do the filters of most recent. Well, that's exactly what we are already on. Or, when we wait for it to load, we can click... I haven't done a thumbnail for the la latest one. Most viewed, which is, like the most viewed so here we go now you won't know what this was because i ended it this year i'm i'm hoping for it. i'm rooting for it to become the most viewed battlelands video ever excluding the trailers for the game i read it's currently third so alvero uh, he has got the highest with a 506 500 and 506,000 views, and then Zanzart is second with 493,000 views, and then mine is third with 444,903 views right now. And so we'll see. By the end of this year, as of the current rate of views that they're all getting, mine should become the most viewed but oh but we'll see anyway that i just that's the one i'm rooting for that video although how to make that will because that will be probably become one of my highest ones anyway that's just those like there yeah. so nothing really for me like amazing on that one a oh, search okay what's uh so if we go decorations there we go like that search rarest decoration shows up no oh I, these all have the word decorations or oh, those ones it must be look searching through the description as well 
because yeah i don't know anyway that's that's that there so you can do that it's annoying on the desktop one when you search something like for example you might go like like for example heyday live and then it shows like a whole heap of results and then if you put space you then it shows no results even though for example like that first video showing up right now heyday live would show up it, it doesn't if you go like heyday live then space you it, it, it's so annoying how it does that anyway that's how it works so that's that there's nothing i you can't i guess filter for monetization or anything oh you can click on the and you can search it you can go by them but you can't i think put the monetization filters on in that anyway so that's oh that's the analytics okay like analytics like so okay so we got them we got them and yeah so we got that and then that you can go through and you can see oh well, that this isn't a good example because that one's demonetized i mean it's like rightfully so because it's not it's not my content i've just made it an hour loop of it okay but if we for example come to this one right here and then we click on the analytics for this specific video there we go as you can see it's got this right here and then you can click on revenue and you you can click on discovery and you can and so 10.9 percent click rate which i'm pretty happy with you can see where all the traffic's come from and all that like so and then mix okay and audience see that's totally wrong female 100 percent and ages 35 to 44 percent it's 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 not just it does this on the desktop as well you know it just it messes up sometimes and just does things like that anyway there we go and 100 percent oh well you yeah, know that one makes sense okay there we go and then right now a few of the clicks and so anyway that's that that but there all right let's go to playlists okay so here's the the playlists and that oh yep yeah, so so i guess it adds up the views does it no it can't do it no it must be clicks on the playlist yeah that's right okay rather than the individual ones time created okay let's try that one. Oh yeah and last video added oh yeah so that just shows yeah that makes sense comments okay comments are pretty simplistic and that there used to be a glitch where you'd like heart a comment in that but then it wouldn't it wouldn't work for example if we tap this person here we go like this yeah, it's still, the glitch is still there, see? And so then it's like, oh no, it didn't like it. So then you hard it again. So you'd have to like, so you'd answer it and hard it here and then you come out and it wasn't hard. And so that's why I think there was quite a few people in the comments that when I used to always answer like this, I still occasionally use this, not often though. Then the heart, the heart doesn't work. And so then, then they wouldn't get a heart, which I, I heart most comments. So anyway, so that's published, held for review, likely spam the three categories there. If we click on that 99 plus, that's the notifications. If we go to analytics, this is an overview of the analytics. Man, I'm taking a hard hit. It's because the I, I've still got all the, the, the Charlie uh, streams that were, they're sort of all in that, that on the, on the back end of this one here. And so as soon as that time's up, whoosh, we, we lose all those because these here, if we look at, if we click on them, here we go, we can see the analytics like so. Bam, they're all on that end right there. Bam, that was crazy. That was a crazy stream. That was awesome. Okay, there we go. So there's that. Right, so there's that one there. So there's the analytics. So you got, and it's it's very similar to the main one. In fact, I actually kind of like it as a as a different perspective from the main one because it's sort of, you, you sort of just... I don't know, you just sort of see stuff, and, and it, it, I don't know, it just looks different in that. Like that, yeah, I oh know, I have got that subscriber graph. I don't know why, but I just like it, like having a look at it like like this, this way. So we got the revenue information right there. We got the discover in Norway, second. Oh, that's for CPM though. Okay, uh, discovery, like so, and click rate is 76 could be higher, but I mean, it's better than some. And you can see the top search terms. So heyday at the moment in the last 28 days is is the one that's really helping out. There we go, audience. And you can see the audience in that and the, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. The, I found that that age thing is, uh, when I did a poll on it as to what age the audience was, I found that to be incredibly wrong. I think it was like, of everyone that answered my poll, I think like 80% were under 18 in age. It, which is totally like different to what the age analytics thing because i think what happens is is like heaps and heaps of kids use the appearance accounts and so then you have all these analytics saying like oh look at look at all these you know you have all these people you know 16 percent of your audience is age 35 to 44 or whatnot and it's like okay you know but like you know <laughs> like you know it's 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 it, like i don't know because i would expect a, a fairly young audience overall like that of like who plays battlelands generally it's going to be you know younger people playing battlelands but not completely but you know so this year the age thing analytics is, is wrong uh, it's like totally wrong and and because like 
yeah, and since the, the, yeah, since the YouTube doesn't, you know, collect the data on people under 13, which there's actually quite a uh, sizable proportion, not, uh, not majority, but that's under 13, then, then I just get all this data, which is, is wrong. Like, as in, yes, the account watching it is that, but that's not the actual audience. So I do have to be mindful that this, this data, I have to kind of take it with a grain of salt, because based on the poll, it was nothing. It was totally different to what the, what the, anyway, so that's that there. Right, so, and then we got the top subtitles, and that, so 7% in the last 28 days have used English subtitles, and that, and then top countries is United States in terms of the watch time. Interactive content, they always have the thing where it drops at the end, oh, what happened today? But it just does that, and then you can see the top cards that people have been clicking on, the playlists, there we go, as you can see, so previous period, there we go, was average time, was, so this, this time hasn't been very good. So yeah, the playlists, people, like, yeah, definitely, playlists are really good. But that, yeah, there's not actually that much to show in that, but that sort of is an overview of the, the app. The Creator Studio app. So I hope you found it interesting. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day. And I'll see you all soon. Goodbye for now.